Hello everyone, welcome to Azure DevOps. Today we are going to discuss continuous integration, continuous delivery. To start with it, I have Azure DevOps project. In that project, I have a repository created. The repository name is Frontend. As you can see, I'm starting it onto a fresh repository. The repository is currently empty. The so objective is you understand each and every concept of continuous integration and continuous delivery. So here I'm going to add a .NET web applications, .NET Core 3.1 web application, which is the latest one. And there we will add a CI CD pipeline onto the same repository. And we'll make sure we are enabling the continuous integration and continuous delivery. You will have the idea about how do you set up all these steps to enable the CI CD onto your project. Let's start now. I have cloned the repository here on my Visual Studio code. As you can see, the repository front end is cloned now. Inside the repository, I have created a folder called web app where I'm going to add the web app. Let's add the web app now. To add the web app, let's first of all navigate to the folder. Now run the command .NET new MVC and for now I'm not using any authentication. That's why I'm using it passing a command argument as a none. As you can see, if this command has added the solution onto the folder. The command executed successfully. Now I just want to make sure I'm able to build the solution. Is compiling the solution now. Now you can see the output this the build command has run successfully without having any error or warnings. So we are good with it right now. So I'm going to commit the changes for now. Get add. I'm pushing the changes onto the repository. As you can see, the repository is successfully pushed to the server. Now let's check the server whether the changes are there or not. As you can see, the changes which we have pushed from Visual Studio Code is available now on the repository. I can see the history. Yes, it is available. Now let's look at if there is a CI CD pipeline available. As you can see, there is a no CI CD pipeline available, which is for the front end repository. Now let's add a new CI CD repository. I'm going to select Git because this is my Git repository. I'm going to select the name of my repository. 
for now let's start with a new starter pipeline which is going to be the default pipeline just for the understanding the concept here you can see a yaml file which will be added to my repository this is the name of my repository and the name of my pipeline which will be added to the repository you can see let's look at the detail about the yaml file what is got so it has got the trigger point which is mentioned with the master so any changes mentioned in the master repository any commit onto the master repository will be this particular pipeline will be executed next we have the agent pool which agent pool we are using so by default it is using ubuntu latest if you want you can switch it to windows or mac os depends upon your need next we have the steps here in the steps we are just running a couple of commands or powershell commands so it is running one liner single liner command and at this script 2 we are running a multi line command so this is just a sample script let's save and run this particular script as of now i'm not passing any variables to that as you can see the job is started right now hopefully it will be completed very soon and now if i'm going to look at my repository i have this file which is checked in to my repository so the pipeline is now part of my source code as you can see the pipeline has successfully run now if i'm going to make any changes to this repository let's say remove the introduction part for now i'm expecting this pipelines to be triggered automatically yes you can see the pipeline has triggered successfully which is in queue this proves that the continuous integration is enabled so how do we enable the continuous integration if you see the trigger point which is on the master the trigger point proves that the continuous integration is enabled the other way to check the continuous integration you can go and edit the pipeline go to the triggers and you can see the continuous integration is enabled it is enabled with the trigger points which you have mentioned in your yaml file if you want you can override from here then you can specify the name of the branch if you have any other branch on which you want to enable your continuous integration for now i'm going to leave it as is because i don't want to make any changes i want to keep it as is by default let's check the status again you can see the pipeline has run successfully and you got the result single line command hello world multi-line command with these two lines let's set up the continuous delivery now on the same pipeline let's modify the pipeline now currently the pipeline is triggered on the master so leave it as is i just want to make changes to windows because i want to deploy changes more from my windows image if you want to deploy it from ubuntu you can deploy it from ubuntu that's not an issue now let's go to the stages i just want to create multiple stages
and inside the stages you are going to have stage I will call it as a build and then within the stage I will have jobs and then inside the job I will have a job called job build uh, you can also have the display name a name build build if you don't want to make it like this and then we will have these steps and inside these steps you can have the step or basically the task so I'm going to remove it for now I'm going to add a task to use the .NET framework this will make sure we are using the .NET framework task and then next I'm going to add the task to basically we are using the .NET Core CLI task you can find the task detail which is available on your CD pipeline just you need to pass the parameter so different command basically so at the moment in this particular task I'm passing the command as a restore and in the next section first restore next build so the same task but we are passing the build command at right now now what after build if you have the unit test cases which you want to run as a continuous integration continuous test so we talk about the continuous build and continuous deployment which is and then continuous delivery so as part of the continuous build I am going to pass the continuous build this particular command will perform the continuous build and now I am going to run the continuous test as well so basically I am trying to make sure whatever test case it has my web application has we are running those test cases as part of the continuous integration that so just you need to be very careful if you are working on a YAML file the indentation is the main part so you need to be very careful about the indentation now next task which is here we are trying to publish run the publish command on the .NET CLI and then once the publish command is done successfully we are basically creating an artifact so this is the whole step consists of multiple tasks so the task basically we are building running the test cases and then publishing it website and generating the artifact just trying to arrange the indentations as you can see I don't have any errors now get some string let's see now next I'm going to add a stage to the deployment here in this I'm going to add a stage which is deployment stage which I've copied so now you can see this is the name of my stage I'm using a job collection and job collection I have a deployment stage deployment task which is making sure we are deploying it 
with some deployment environment. So here is the name of the environment which I have given. We'll discuss more about the environment. I will tell you what environment is and how it is going to help you with the continuous integration and continuous deployment. This is going to be a very uh, crucial part of your deployment phase. But for now, let's leave it as is. In this stage strategy, you can see run once and then I have a deploy steps and within the step what we are doing it we are doing we are downloading the artifact whatever artifact we have uploaded here in this stage we are downloading that particular artist artifact whatever version current version is up available we are basically downloading that particular artifact and then we are using the i have the azure subscription uh, which is a uh, service endpoint so Azure subscription is nothing but uh, using the service endpoint which we have created on your Azure DevOps project. Uh, that endpoint, service endpoint is basically targeting to one of the your Azure subscription. So the name of that particular service endpoint which one is the information about your Azure subscription. Then the type of web app, application name, package, Linux, and then deploy. Deployment type is basically web application let's check in this particular code As you can see now I have the pipeline with two stages earlier the same repository has a single pipeline with one stage but now we are modified as we have modified the pipeline with two stage one build and deployment now we got the same pipeline having two stages and you can see the build is successfully completed and now it's going for the deployment While the deployment is going on, I'll show you this is the web app which we are targeting for the deployment. You can see the artifacts are getting uploaded to the web app. The name of the web app you can see. This is the name of the web app which I have shown here. And also just to verify these are the step which we have added onto the repository so now we have the two stages pipeline one is build and the other one is deploy and you can see the build and the deployment both of them are completed successfully so build has generated the artifact and then the same artifact has been used by the deployment stage if you want you can go ahead and check the artifact here now as you have seen we have deployed the web app successfully with continuous integration and continuous deployment this was the web app successfully which was deployed now let's look at some of the sections in the pipeline if you remember correctly we have set up the environments here what is this environment is this is we are going to discuss now to understand this environment concept i have added one more stage to my pipeline this time i'm calling this stage deployment stage as a testing so here i'm expecting this web app application to be deployed on two different environment one is the development environment and other is the test environment when somebody is going to check in the code 
the code will be compiled the test cases will be executed that is going to be the continuous integration just to assure the code quality and once the continuous integration is completed the deployment continuous deployment will start so first of all it will deploy the source code onto the dev environment here the dev environment we are using the environment name dev whereas in the test environment we are using the environment name test so now I want the test environment to be deployed only if it is been approved by let's say test lead so let's say a developer is trying to push a defect fix but we want to deploy that defect fix only and only onto the test environment if it is been approved by the test member so how we can do that the environment is the answer basically we want to have the gated check-in wherein we want the gated approval and to do that we can use these environment settings in place let's check the environments now if you see as you mouse over on the pipeline icon you see the pipelines and just below that there is an environment if I go to the environment you'll see the environment which all the environment which I was using on this project on this organization basically so those environment will be available for example within this organization I have the environment named dev and I have the environment named test as well because I have now the deployment onto the multiple stages so what I can do now I can go and check all the deployment which has happened through the dev I can go and check all the deployment which has happened through the test now let's say if I want to add the approval gates I can go right click click on these three dots and then check the approval settings approval gate I've already added the approval but if you want you can add more or you can modify basically you can see I have already added the approval as myself here I have uh, keep this checkbox because currently on my DevOps project I am the only member who is working so I just want this feature to be enabled so that I can approve my own changes but in a larger team environment you don't want this checkbox to be approved you are expecting a check-in to be done by some development team member and some other team member can be supervisor or it can be test member as a approver so you can add let's say test group active directory you can have the groups so like say I have a group for entire test team member let's say call it a performance test development testing or iteration one testing and then add that particular group here as a approver so that it, the changes can be deployed by the approver only so now once I'm going to make the changes onto the repository the deployment will go to the dev environment now I, I'm expecting a three stages deployment as I have mentioned I've added the additional step to the my to my pipeline like you can see the build and the deployment which is deployment to dev which is completed and now you can see the deployment to the test environment which it is waiting right now and it is waiting for a guest to be approved which is me right now so here I have option to provide a comment and option to reject the deployment or we approve the deployment let's approve the deployment for now here you can see it is now starting the deployment you can see the note one check has passed so now it's going to deploy so in this scenario what you are doing is uh, you are deploying to multi stages environment here with the same source code repository is getting deployed to dev environment and now it is getting deployed to test environment
Now you can see the deployment is completed. So this is how we have proven the continuous integration contains deployment and the continuous integration contains deployment with the gated approval as well. Thanks for watching the video.